Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to run Slacks, the Linux distribution, from a portable or remote USB drive. For this exercise, it's going to be pretty similar to the portable applications that we use. The drive that I want to be using is going to be a Gorilla drive. It's basically a tough USB drive. And part of the scenario and the prerequisites we're going to be running is running the Slack ISO image, the 64-bit, and we're also going to be running the QEMU virtualization software in Windows. Since it's going to be running from the USB drive, additionally, I took the freedom to take install some portable Python, so put a Git, uh, the portable version as well, and additionally, install the Visual Studio Code in a portable mode. Everything's running from an E-drive, which is listed here. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, show a quick demo of the apps. Portable Python. I can run the console launcher. It's from the E drive. Python version. I can do pip version as well. And it's working effectively Python. The other part is the git. It takes me to a git bash. Which actually I can run and it gives me a little look like there is it's running right there on git bash additionally I can run the git command to actually run some portable git commands or cloning your repository that I used to uh, additionally to the e-drive we have the Visual Studio Code, which eventually is in the portable mode. And I can just go ahead and squeeze the window a little bit more to fit here. Make it a little smaller here as well. And we can see that actually we have uh, the Visual Studio mode, Visual Studio Code running successfully. Okay, so now. If we take a look to the goals today, we can actually create an image directly from um, the drive. And this will be executing. Let me go ahead and open um, in the ISO folder, open a shield or a command prompt. I guess I could open a terminal. So right here, on the drive, let me go ahead and drag the first command, which is the slacks qcal directly to the file. Uh, and let me go ahead as well and uh, drag the slacks batch file. So, in the first one, basically, I run a qemu command to create a file with a compression QCAL2 in the file system. And it's going to be located in the EISO minus slash QCAL2. And the size is going to be four gigs. That's 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 pretty much what it does. The minus slack QCAL. If I call this script, it runs super quick. I now want to be ending with a file with a QCAL extension. And as you can see, this file is but this is starting, but it's going to have the definition the max size of uh, 4 gigs. Once we have that, let's go to the second step, second script. This second script, I want to change the view here to see the world wrap. Basically, what it runs is the QEMU, and what it does is um, emulate some parameters to make it bootable on the BIOS. It uses as a hard drive this QCAL file that we create. We assign 1 gig of memory. We assign the network interface, and we assign to be forwarding the port, uh, local port in the host, local host 2222, internally in the virtual machine or the emulation machine 22. And we do the CD-ROM, the ISO image that is located in this path, and just go ahead and execute it. And if that works as expected, first boot the slacks, you should be able to open and launch in QEMO, which is running portable. Uh, the boot of the slacks 
Linux distribution. And once it's doing that, um, it's going to take some time. Somehow, the, I noticed the acceleration is not as fast as some other virtualizations like uh, VirtualBox or VMware. But it does a really good job because this is, remember, this is running portable and it's running from the USB drive. So eventually you can unplug the USB drive, take it home, and there's nothing that it will prevent you to run it in any other 64-bit uh, Windows operating system. The binary is going to be the same. Everything will be the same. The beauty about this, though, is like you can actually install the operating system within the KQK. -K 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 the QCAL 2 partition, which is 4 gigs, you can make it bigger, of course. Uh, and once it's there, you can actually customize your own portable development environment and make it work all seamlessly. Um, we can see that actually uh, Slack is booting, not at the speed that it should, but eventually we'll get there. Uh, one of the things I want to do, there it comes right now, the graphical interface. Still continue trying to, to start. I want to demonstrate that the network started. I want to start SSH, and I want to add in one user so I can SSH into the box for my machine. That will run a lot faster. I want to use the putty command to actually SSH into the box. Um, that should go a lot smoother. So there he goes. It's actually mounting and getting everything ready, uh, starting all the services in this distribution. And eventually, it's going to come back with a graphical display. As you can see, definitely slower. The acceleration is something that I actually feels kind of um, getting there. Now, I have not run this one from the local solid state drive. It might be a little faster. Uh, this is again running from an external USB drive in the machine, running QMU, QMU from the drive and running the ISO from the drive and everything just loaded into memory. So. Right now we see Slack's coming up, and uh, eventually it's going to come with a screen. Um, the lag that we see on the acceleration on the graphics is probably related to that, uh, 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 to the QMO layer of emulation. I don't think it's really that much in terms of the gig of RAM. If we want to take a look to the resources that I'm running, in terms of the task manager, the performance is not running it's running just the, the gig, not really a whole lot of things, and, and everything else is just kind of there. So I don't think that's going to be a showstopper in terms of the resources. I could limit this to less, less, less resources, but here we go. We finally got to the desktop, to the screen. I can go ahead and, and go to terminal. And uh, once the terminal opens, we should be able to go ahead and... Uh, Let's see, we should be able to see if um, it pick up the network, which I, I see, the local 10.0.2.15. Uh, I will head and do a system controller start this stage. I might take a little second just to get started. Again, the feedback on the X is a little sluggish, so I will move a lot more comfortable, a lot faster with the SSH in the command line, but I will see how it goes as soon as this comes back. We should be able to have SSH running and Still, you can see the lag, actually, not really sure if it's the screen or is the services running, maybe the emulation la layer. Um, that's going to be a, a lot better once we get to the SSH. I just need to add a user so we can SSH into it, and eventually we don't need this graphical interface. If your distribution is not running X, you will have a little better performance. But again, everything's from the USB drive loaded into memory. And right now, we're still seeing some uh, some lag here. Eventually, we'll get there uh, just because of that exercise. I wonder if uh, somehow the recording software is actually slowing the machine a little bit too, possibly. But uh, here we go. Now, let's go ahead and add a user real quick. 
use that for my home directory to myself. And it's like the waiting game somehow. Even for an operating system that is running in RAM, you, you think it will be faster. Again, I think it's a, it's a graphical interface that is not actually getting back to us. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add a password myself. So let's see, take it, if you take it, let's see, okay, good deal. So now, I guess we can, minimize this. Let me open, uh, sure this will work for now, 2222 on localhost. I want to log in, yes, I want to log in with a new user I create, just create. Uh, that will be myself. And change this to the root. This is the default password for Slacks. And I can say, that, um, in fetch, nothing. I can install it. Uh, this is based on Debian apt command. Should be able to do his job. Connect to the internet. Get to the repositories. Of course, for that we have internet connectivity. As you can see, it's a lot more responsive. I think the sluggishness was in the in the graphical part on QM, but still. Once you get it up and running from the USB drive, it becomes very responsive, something that you can have directly uh, at your disposal to be used um, from your USB drive. And of course, you can install it to the new hard drive, the KQ, the QCAL a two partition, and then you can actually customize your install and have everything ready in a, almost like a Swiss Army knife to plug it in. Uh, run it from a batch file and it will execute eventually boot and do you know whatever your custom distribution wants to do uh, It's doing the updates Taking some time not doing the Quite the performance expect, expected as other virtual sessions, but not too bad considering that it's running without installing a single piece of software just kind of running from the drive and Trying to get it there, demonstrate that we were able to install a screen page. Once we get it ready, I show where the drive is. Uh, it should be able to install it and use it. Uh, the exercise was just to run a couple commands and uh, run the QMO booting from a USB drive with all the dependencies installed there. There you go, since installing finally screen page. Um, and to finish with the manual pages, unpacking, setting up, getting there, and most likely this little, it shouldn't be really nothing but just waiting on that screen page. And there he goes. You probably see the scrolling, slowly scrolling. There he comes right there. Debian. The QMO virtual CPU. Um, I'll be running eight minutes, just a minute of the video. Hopefully, you like the video. Hopefully, you like the, the approach. Um, leave some comments. I enjoy it. And uh, in, I guess some of the videos coming is going to be probably Nalpine Linux and probably some other distros customized installing. The installation is uh, available or Q drives and devices the yeah, so you can proceed to go ahead and do the installation right now it's also just the regular slacks so the memory the usage everything is straightforward but uh, hopefully enjoy the video uh, leave some comments and be safe have a great great day talk to you later